The sheet bend is a uh, knot for which we have three applications to consider. The first one is joining two ropes of different diameters together. The second one, this is the knot that we'll use for mending net mesh that's been torn. And the third one is for closing the zipper of our trap net. The benefits when it comes to joining two ropes of different diameters together, this is tough to do, and this is the knot that achieves it effectively. The benefit of this knot for closing the trap net zipper is we end up with an identifiable knot that when we come back the next day we can tell if that was the knot we tied. And we're also going to use a version of the sheet bend that has a quick release because we're often working in cold weather and uh, when we're working with small diameter line in cold weather our fingers tend to uh, freeze up. We don't have the good mobility to work with small knots and so we need a knot that we can undo quickly and easily in cold weather. So to tie this knot, we'll start with the version where we're tying it to uh, two di different diameter knot ropes together. And typically this was done when ships were coming in to dock, there would be a rope of maybe four inches in diameter on the ship and that would be the rope that they'd want to tie to the dock with, but a rope that big is very difficult to maneuver. So the idea is to get a smaller diameter rope around the end of that rope and use a smaller diameter rope to maneuver the big rope. The bigger rope will have a loop in the end, whether it's an open loop like a bite or just a closed loop. Either one will work fine. And with the smaller diameter rope, we come up through the bottom of the loop. We're going to wrap behind both portions of the larger rope and then we're just going to pass this rope under itself and simply tighten in this manner. That's a single sheet bend. To tie a double sheet bend, once again, we have a loop at the end of a rope. We're going to start the same way. We're going to come up from the underside of the loop we're going to wrap around behind both pieces of the larger rope. And in this case, we're going to just wrap it all the way around again. So we've wrapped it around twice. Now we have two strands of the smaller diameter rope that we're going to pass this under and tighten. The double sheet bend is a more secure version if you're worried about slippery rope. That will stay ultimately stay secure, especially under load. The important thing about the single or the double sheet bend is to make sure that all the working part of the knot is above the, the end loop in the rope. Everything needs to stay up there. It cannot collapse down onto itself. So once again, the double, same thing. Everything is above the bottom of the loop. So let's tie that single again. Once again, we have a loop in the larger diameter rope. And then we have the smaller diameter rope comes up through the bottom, wraps around behind both portions of the larger rope, and then it's just going to tuck under itself. And then we tighten. So when you look at the finished knot, it comes up from underneath, wraps around behind, and then binds underneath itself. So the more you pull on this, the more it tightens on this working bit of the rope so that it cannot follow around and come undone because in a sense essentially pulling on it trying to loosen it would actually be what tightens it. I'm going to tie that one once more. So larger diameter rope you have a bite or you have a closed loop come up through the bottom pass around behind both portions and then tuck under itself and tighten. Just once more on the double. Starts the same way. Smaller rope comes up through the bottom of the loop, passes around both portions of the larger rope, and then just pass behind one more time. And then when it comes down, it's going to come down under 
two strands of itself, trapping it. So once again, the more you tighten, the more you pull, the more it binds on itself so it cannot slip through. So that's the single and the double sheet bend. This single version is the version that we will use to mend nets with and it'll be a continuous uh, working where we'll come up and tie one sheet bend, move over, tie another, move over, tie another. We're working with twine of the same diameter in that case, but it'll be the same knot. Now for closing the zipper of the trap net, we'll show you this during training where you get to follow along the zipper to close the zipper itself, but then you have to have a finishing knot to hold it secure. And what we will do is we'll reach out and find a piece of mesh of the net that we can attach to and we'll come up and we'll tie what is beginning to look like a sheet bend except when it comes to this point we're not going to pass the working end through we're just going to pass a bite through so there you have the same knot with a quick release. The quick release is that I did not put this portion through so you can pull it and it will come undone that easily. Remember it might be cold mornings, we work fall, we work springtime and it's awful difficult when your fingers stop working to untie knots. So the quick release again, this, the end of our zipper rope comes up, passes around another portion of the net and instead of pulling the working end through, I'm just going to pull a bite through. And there is the sheet bend with a quick release. You can see what would happen here if I continued to pull this through is I just have the single sheet bend coming up from the bottom, wrapping around both portions and then trapping itself. Once more, I'll do a quick release. This is what we're going to use to close our trap net zippers with. Come up through the bottom, give myself lots of line. I'm going to wrap it around both portions and I'm just going to reach through and pull a loop or a bite through. So there is your sheet bend with a quick release.